and we are in the valley. Ben is trying to put the drone up and we just passed by a coyote. I don't believe I saw a coyote, but we didn't record it, so no coyote. And why are we doing here? To see the animals, the snakes, the coyotes. We just passed by one and was so cute looking, but I was so scared of him. And uh, we're going home. Are we lucky enough that to drive home we get to go through Death Valley? We are lucky to be here in 100 degrees weather. And we are actually lucky to have water with us, otherwise we would die in Death Valley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how hot is it supposed to be in Death Valley today? In Death Valley, it's supposed to be 118 degrees today. It's probably like 45 Celsius. All right. What? And uh, it's nobody around here but us because we're the smartest one in the world to be here in 118 degrees. But for us, it's just the drive through today. Yep, we're just driving home, not a lot of stops. But you stop every once in a while and just check out the scenery. It really is something to behold if you've never been to Death Valley before, or this area. It's one of the viewpoints here in Death Valley. Really sort of amazing, this giant canyon, all the different mineral layers and colors. It's so beautiful in person and hot. It is hot out here right now. We have yet to drop into the canyon floor and it's already about a hundred degrees and it's about 11 in the morning right now. Road they use only and they have the bus on the road. But this is not a fun road to take. This is our first time taking the Darwin Falls Trailhead. It's supposed to be a waterfall that runs all year round here in Death Valley. It's a one mile hike from the trailhead, which is a the trailhead is about a mile or two down a uh, dirt road. So let's go check out Darwin Falls Trail. I'm not sure if I'm picking it up, but we have found what I believe to be a hawk. It's a 
absolutely beautiful. That's really cool. Walking down the trail here to Darwin Falls, and this is the water pipeline that brings water into some of the smaller settlements in Death Valley. We're starting to see some trees, which must be from the, the water from the springs. It's hard to even tell, but that's actually the spring here. It's where the water pipe, right there, that's where the water to Death there Valley comes from. Blue, yeah, the little fly. blue dragon or damsel flies. I can't believe I've never taken this hike in, in Death Valley till now. Chris is crossing the stream. <laughs> this is amazing. Is a river or the stream running? Reeds. Unbelievable we're in Death Valley. At this natural oasis. No, I think that's the waterfall. I think we've made it up here to Darwin Waterfall. Yeah, we made it! Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. But still, for being the beginning of summer and there's still a waterfall running in Death Valley. That's Darwin Waterfall. Don't let the picture on the internet make you believe this waterfall is huge because it's not. It's still amazing there's a waterfall in the middle of Death Valley. It is a waterfall and but it's there's like, plenty of water in the all the streams, all the all the way around this actually. Yeah. Going all the way to the pipes. Like half, half of the hike on the way up here you follow the stream. And when you get here the waterfall is probably 10, maybe 15 feet tall. But it's absolutely beautiful. And the most amazing thing is it's here. It's here in this field. And on the other side we can uh, record it over there. Actually the, the falls goes on top of the rock and it makes a shape like a bee the other way around. It is a beautiful waterfall. Wow, so Tell you what, people say there's a lot of must-sees or must-do hikes in Death Valley. This is now one of them. This is one of the things you should do in Death Valley, to come to this waterfall, because even if it's small, it's so cute and so beautiful, and uh, the trail is not that hard. The drive to this one is not that pretty. It's straight, but it's kind of rocky. You still can do with any car. But this one, look, come closer. See how nice and beautiful this is. It's like, we're supposed to go now, but I want to stay here and look more. All right, that's our time here at Darwin Waterfalls. 
probably could have spent a couple of hours here just listening to the waterfall. Such a neat spot. Uh, we need to get going home and it's only getting hotter out here. Else neat, there's a little lizard. So many lizards and wildlife out here we found, huh? Found a frog. Uh, a, coyote. A, a coyote. Too bad we didn't get that coyote on film. But we found a falcon, a bunch of different types of lizards. Frogs, tadpoles, damselflies. There's probably like bighorn sheep out here. I don't want to see any. <laughs> you can tell that there's wild burrows out here just by the, the droppings that we walked by. Because I need to know which one I step on. How is that? Ah. I made it! Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's where the behind this is the Darwin Fall. Now you have to go up on this little rock and go back down to the trail. So let's do it. Good luck to us. It does not look like that valley. It does not look like desert. It's so much wildlife, so much green, so beautiful. And to see a waterfall in here, to me, it's very good. Here it's been coming. Hey. Walking through the forest in Death Valley? <laughs> yes. Strange, isn't it? It is strange. <laughs> hey. hey, making our way back to the car. degrees here at sea level in Death Valley. 118, 118 degrees. I can see the salt because we are under the sea level right now. It's one of the short little hikes here to one of the old mines in Death Valley. They used to mine a lot of borax out here, which is a mineral used in all sorts of industrial applications. And many people know borax as a type of soap, which I think it's still used as today. So let's go check out the old mine site. I'm not going to stay out here too long because it is hot. You literally feel like you're being cooked. On the signboard, we had to switch phones because our other phone overheated out here in this heat. So we're probably gonna put the phones away and finish this trail before both our phones tell us that it's too hot to be out here. Zabrin 
ski point and it's so pretty it's a really nice short hike but it is too hot outside for us to do it again <laughs> yeah so we won't gonna do it anymore today Thank you. 